So today in the Daily Squeak, I'm going to talk about setup. Firstly, I apologize for any background noise because I have an extremely annoying cat here right now that doesn't seem to be happy with anything I do. So we might get some background noise, but we'll continue anyway. So setup is basically a subscription service for applications. Think Creative Cloud, uh, Office 365 or JetBrains with their developer tools, if you're familiar with those. But for more than one developer and for more independent applications. So it should be launching soonish. Uh, and once you get access, basically you just get a small application here, which doesn't do a great deal, just gives you a menu extension with some shortcut links. Also nicely gives you unified updater for all of these applications. That said, this integrates really nicely and really well with the Mac by default. So when you get new applications, they actually appear in the notifications here. You also get this uh, finder item. It doesn't do a great deal. All it really does is give you access to the special setup folder. So this exists inside your applications folder. Now this is interesting. You can see some of these have this arrow and some of them don't. So for example, Archiver, this is one that I have already installed. So if I open it, well this is, yeah, you'll see I have access to the application as normal. If, for example, I want to look at a different application, so Base, this I haven't installed yet, and I double click it, I actually get a small application info screen instead, much like you'd expect in an app store. And then once I click open, it starts downloading it. And then the application opens instantly and I have access to it. There we go. Likewise, if I delete it, and I do use a program that cleans up some hidden files, which might kick in a second. Yep. Then back is the alias again. And the interesting thing here is it's a sort of skeleton application. It still has things inside it here. You can see if you ever dug inside an application folder. So what this means, and this is quite cool and quite nice. Let me find some files. If I right click, you see I have access to some of the applications here that I haven't actually downloaded yet. So once again, I will get the information screen and I'm asked if I want to download it. So it's kind of system aware before you've even downloaded things, which is quite cool. This does mean that, so I think at the moment I only have about two or three applications actually installed. This does mean, it's not a big problem, but that the folder is moderately large and this is only for 47 applications at the moment and there's probably going to be more. So this could get big over time, but it's okay. So it's a nice way of giving you a unified experience of getting hold of applications, updating applications, and all for a flat fee. You can find more details in the article I've written to accompany this video. And yeah, when it's available, I hope you give it a go. It looks very promising. And I think basically if they can get a good selection of applications, then it's going to be a really promising service.